Transgenerational trauma. Wow. Wow, what the heck is that? Well, as the name implies, it's across generations. I have patients where, you know, I don't know for sure, because we never really know for sure, but I'm pretty clear that there doesn't seem to be anything going on uh, in their, their lifetime that's particularly related to, to what's going on uh, with their presentation now. But it may be that there's something that has taken place in the ancestry, and maybe they know about that. In the end, okay, once again, it's interesting, so what? And actually, there's far too much made out of going, well, we must understand the origins of it. Well, not really. I mean, it's, it's interesting. Uh, it can give some relevance to if we feel that we know what's happened to somebody, then um, it helps us to sort of maybe focus slightly uh, on what we're doing. But ultimately, we go to the body because kind of the body never lies, really. And what's happening for them um, is what matters. But let's look a little bit at transgeneration trauma because I've, I've talked about all of those other things in, uh, many, many times in other videos. Uh, the main piece of study that's been done on this was done by Rossler in 2013. And they did some experiments on some poor mice. And what they did was that they gave the, um, the mice um, a smell of cherry blossom, which I understand is a very pleasant smell to a mouse, all right, as it is to us. They measured a pleasure physiology pleasure responses within the physiology of the mouse when they smell the um, cherry blossom. But then what they did was that they started giving it little electric shocks through the pores of these poor mice at the same time as smelling the cherry blossom. They began to then have stress physiology measured within their system at the time of the electric shock and the smell. So then they start to, to learn, here's the smell and they condition the response to the smell. Every time they smell the cherry blossom, they have a stress physiology response. Okay, kind of not rocket science, we would imagine that. Now here's the interesting bit, because that's Pavlov's dog, that's a Pavlovian response we all know about, but here's the fascinating thing. What they did is they went four generations later, stopped giving the electric shocks to these mice, but then um, F4, the, the fourth generation of the mice, when given the smell of cherry blossom, exhibited a stress physiology response. And they've not had any electric shocks at all. Now that's fascinating, absolutely fascinating. Because it says, and there's a huge compassion piece to this, because we've all got it. You know, that's the point. I mean, gosh, I mean, look, we look at these atrocities going on around the world. We're going to be activated by anything that has any resemblance to anything that we associate with that. And we're going to project that out into other places. And we will feel that it is utterly real when it isn't. Yeah? Our physiology is going to respond based on something that our great, great, great grandparents have happened to them. It really is like nobody gets through life without trauma because you may well have had a whole load of it even before you were born. The power of transgenerational trauma to, to see maybe what uh, uh, is affecting our sort of stress physiology responds to something. I think, well, why on earth is this? I, you know, a pretty child, I don't know, parents weren't this, that, and the other. But yes, but why has that person maybe even moved towards a, a, an addictive way of coping strategy to something? Well, maybe that was partly because there was some predication for that. Once again, uh, the clues is just really being able to recognize that maybe something's not operating quite as well as it might. Where it came from, interesting, fascinating, can't change it. But you know, I have worked with patients um, where they haven't actually personally experienced the, um, the atrocities of a sexual assault themselves. But actually we, we get a sense that, that in the ancestry um, that has been there. And actually then it starts to play out in a relational piece for them. And it's very, very difficult because they just, they, they don't understand why their body is responding in the way that it is because they just don't understand because uh, but it, to all intents and purposes they're, they're almost exhibiting the same horrors and the same defensive responses that their body might have done had they actually been victims themselves yeah so it's very very interesting to to see 
the influence of transgenerational trauma and how it plays out in people. Hi, I'm Roger. Thanks for watching the video. Hope you enjoyed it. And don't forget to hit the like and subscribe buttons.